best. I miss that happy friend that I had. You've been acting so sad, won't you come back? I like this right here. Right, 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 right here. to have him I know too much about curious George I'm like his his stalker I like I like monkeys hey guys it's Florence can we please take a moment and acknowledge spring <laughs> spring is here and spring just know that spring is here so today I'm gonna be showing you all two DIYs which is DIY pillows and DIY phone case holder I'm not blessed in the department of making stuff, so if I can do it, you can do it. So guys, <laughs> ooh, caveman. Bruh. Sorry. It's springtime, and I was feeling springy. Wow. I was feeling springy. And I wanted to give my room a pop of color. So I decided to decorate my room in a way where I'll feel festive and springy. Oh, yes, me. So, guys, I hope you like this video. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below which one of these two DIY was your favorite. And I will see you in my next video. That was so weird. But, bye! Okay guys, so the item you're gonna use for this DIY is some Sharpie, spray pen, glue gun, some ribbons, and some stencil to trace over. First, we're gonna make this cute, easy pillow. I bought my material from Walmart. All you're gonna do is flip it upside down and just glue the sides. But leave one side open so you can be able to flip it and add your pillow into it. Make sure you don't burn yourself because I literally burn myself like 10 to 20 times. You know me. Clumsies. And after you're done flipping it over, it looks so cute. And you're just going to go ahead and add your pillow. It's that simple. Ta-da! Makes us seem like Bob the Builder. Next, we're going to make this Sleep 247 pillow. My favorite one. So I got some stuffing so it can seem like clouds. You're gonna cut it in half because I'm gonna make two little pillows. You're gonna repeat the same step as the glue on the side and leaving one open. And after you flip it, you're just gonna put your stuffing up in there. It's gonna look lumpy because it's supposed to look like a cloud. And then you're gonna glue it shut. And then you're gonna put whatever letters you wanna spell out on your pillow in there. And that's when your Sharpie comes in. And I just trace on sleep. On a weekend, going up. So, and it looks so cute. And lastly, I didn't even show y'all the gluing because it's the same gluing process. But before I insert my pillow, I took my ribbon and glued it on how I wanted it. For some reason, it ended up looking like a mail. A mail, a letter from somebody. So, I don't know who that person is. Is it you? Like, who's sending me a letter? But it turned out really cute and I liked it. Make sure you don't burn yourself, though. Take your time. Ta da! Isn't it so cute? And last, I got this phone holder basket thrifting for a dollar and it was silver, so I wanted to make it look more cute. So I just took it outside on the grass. I know you're thinking, Florence, are you killing nature? You know, we're cutting the grass tomorrow, so the grass won't be safe. So I spray painted the bottom half pink. That's how it look. And then I took my gold paint and sprayed it the handle part gold. Yeah. And it turned out really, really cute. This is how it looked like. 
And if you want to see my phone case collection, comment down below. Why do this DIY pillow I made look like a mailbox? And every time I look at it, I think about singing Blue's Clues. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. I was running through the six with my wife. You know how that shit go.